Hi, Tech Rabbit here. So I'll make a little bit of an announcement. Um, the studio that's um, served so well from the beginning of the channel is going to be changed around a bit. Um, uh, it's really grown out of, I've sort of grown the channel out of the size of the space I have, so I intend to split the um, content creation into two different parts. So uh, the more mechanical, noisy, uh, stuff will be moved to a separate um, workshop building and then um, the more office-like um, content will be still done in this environment but we're going to be um, switching around all the, all the content all, all the gear we have here and uh, I thought I'd sort of attach to this video attach sort of little snippets of possibly interesting changes that are being made I won't record everything because some of it's just moving stuff and then also I'd like to um, uh, read out some channel stats that we've been able to um, get together, viewers and me. So we have um, over 80 subscribers now, so thanks, thumbs up to all those who subscribe to the channel, that's, that's really nice. Uh, we're coming closing on 50,000 views for the videos on the channel, so that, that's um, again an amazing amount, which I can't even think. I can't really visualize that kind of a figure. Um, I myself got a little bit amazed when I looked at the total number of videos that one has out, and they're like uh, 500 so, or 500 videos. Uh, that's, I had to double check. But it is actually true that on the channel there's 500 published videos. <laughs> but anyway, I intend to continue creating content. There'll just be more. 300 likes for everyone who's done a thumbs up. That's, that's really great. Um, I like that. You know, I mean, thanks to those that have done a thumbs down. Also, it makes me want to consider about a little bit about content. Over 1,500 watched hours on the videos. Mind-boggling amount. If you think you'd sit down and watch my videos for 1,500 hours, it's, yeah. Uh, 100 comments. Uh, thanks for those that have been constructive. Um, those that haven't been that constructive, um, I just taken away. Um, but I've also considered those that are critical and, and um, tried to improve your comments have uh, been justified. Anyway, so anyway, this is the start of the studio reorganization and um, keep the posting going. Yeah, I swapped to a little bit better camera right now. Use this for the next shots. Okay, next phase, disassemble the table. Got most of the stuff out of the way. Okay, that's the table in one of them. I've got two. Yeah, oh, 33 kilograms. Yeah, not that light. So anyway, just gonna get it unpackaged and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's modern transporting for you. But nothing seems to be broken right now, at least. Uh, to dig more into the package, but uh, it's just depressing. Okay, got it all unpacked. A little bit of dents. We'll see if it makes any impact on, on the build. Okay, that's the center part done. Had a few nicks in it, but they're going to be a hidden under the tabletop, so I don't think it'll make it. The side hidden hinge is a bit... It's one of the screws is missing. I'll have to check if that you're supposed to screw then after the fact, or whether it went missing on uh, in transport. Oh, that'll be, I think. I mean, the actual hinge doesn't seem to be broken, so I think I can actually fix that. So, that's the end shelf put together. I'll try and put one of the tabletops now. Yeah, first tabletop in place. <laughs> like you see, one of these quick manufacturers, it's all dusty. I have to de dust it before one can use it. So oh, that's the side table part of the 
table in place now with the shells. We'll just have to put some more, few fasteners in and it'll be done. Okay, this is the second table being assembled. Um, nearly done, I just need to put the second tabletop in place and then we can start organizing the place. Okay, here's the middle face. Now well, the tables are put together and they're in there. Hopefully the right positions. Everything's a bit temporary right now. But, um, next we need to empty the sh uh, brown shelf. And move the computer again, because I've decided not to have it um, on the computer table on the corner there. On the white black one. I'm going to move it to the main table. Yeah, so this will be the, this is the beginning, so a three recording stations set up, so. Um. Right, oh, start working on the shell. Okay, starting to look a bit more complete now. So black shell is moved, brown shelf is shifted, I decided to stick it in the corner and um, now it's yeah, it's starting to be, now it's the, <laughs> as I said, the computer needs to be moved to, and I haven't really decided where on the table the stuff's gonna go so I have to think about that which will be overnight in our case yeah Oh, and then the 3D printer will end up on the side table. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's feeling really tired. This is taking a lot of energy. Anyway, then there will be, like, basically three different modes of operation for um, YouTube creation, so... We're nearly there. So I'll just finalize this, and then maybe we can actually get into reviewing the positions. Or the molds. So now it's starting to be a little bit more complete. We we'll still need to move the brown shelf out. I'm going to replace it with one of those black shelves. Oh, it hasn't come yet. Now I've put the computer uh, in a new location, moved it over, and um, I'm hoping that that will be its final, final place. But I'd have to probably run some video production to actually see if this is going to work. But anyway, this is pretty, yeah, as I said, pretty much complete. Uh, where the 3D printer is, that also needs to be organized a bit more. So I'd like to actually have, be able to have access to use the Prusa um, on an ongoing basis, so I wouldn't have to do any setup to use that. And the black shelf will help to do that, because I'll have the filaments on the black shelf. Yeah. And, um, well, we'll see. Take the next step. So, so, studio done. Redone, yeah. Guest chair. Uh, 3D printing station for one printer. I'll probably put the other one here or in the corner, please. Here's my original one. The shelf is in place. I don't really know what's going to go there yet. Workstation's in place. Being cleaned! It was quite dusty. And then here in the corner, uh -huh. film from that direction with lights. I should actually put the lights on. With um, some backdrop. Make it a little bit nicer. So I can do uh, live streaming from this position, or uh, I don't know anything that needs the to share the desktop plus uh, webcam, and then I can show things from here. I still got the if I want to set up the overhead cam. And then in, in the corner here, it's for more like stand-up things, for us bigger things to show. I can uh, swivel this monitor around out of the way. 
and then work from here. And then I've got some stuff in the corner there to support bookshelves. And actually it takes, it utilizes the floor space more efficiently than the original layout. Yeah, that was a big project. Anyway, if you like this video, you know, with all its complex parts, um, uh, consider subscribing. Um, um, hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos. Tell other people, maybe they get some inspiration if they're starting a YouTube career or you know, thinking about reorganizing their own uh, YouTube studio. Get some hints from this and uh, I'll see you in the next one.